What's up everyone, I go by Rifle and thanks for checking out this Division video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys something very cheap to use. It'll be located right around here on the map. It's literally right by a dark zone checkpoint. Let me just say, in my personal experience of being in this spot, you definitely don't feel victorious for surviving your manhunt or rogue up here. Just because this spot is just so cheap. Literally, there's only one way to get up and that is by a ladder. And if you want, you can just hide back and survive it. Some of you are probably wondering, what the heck, Rifle? What do you mean you can just hide? You got the indicator above your head. They'll know where you're at. Well, let's just put it this way. As soon as they come up that ladder, you can immediately gun them down. You have the upper hand up here. After all, there is only one way up. So if you're further back enough where grenades and sticky bombs can't affect you, you're going to be safe for the most part unless they get lucky with a grenade bounce off the wall. But there's normally people looking down from up here looking for people that's going through the alley to get up here. And not to mention, like I was mentioning before, there is a dark zone checkpoint literally right by this spot. So on that note, you can spawn kill people that come out of the dark zone checkpoint and then just immediately run up to this ladder once you finally get your manhunter rogue going on. That'll just lead more people to come to you to be able to gun them down. Trust me though, people will just keep coming back at you. I have seen some angry people trying to take me out up here. And the only reason why I know about this spot is, well, it was used on me, and I was the one getting mad. I was like, dang, this place is just crazy. And I like to try to mention ways to take out these cheap spots that I'm gonna be showing you guys. And in my personal experience of taking out the enemies up here, we actually just you know, used our numbers to our advantage. We went up at the same time after we used a sticky bomb flashbang on the enemies because that just deactivated their skills that they could use. And then we just immediately went up that ladder and tried gunning them down. Sure, we might have failed like the first time or second time, but eventually we got them. And not to mention, there is cover up here too. And you're going to be spawning right by this place as soon as you die, like how I was saying. So angry people will keep coming back to you if you are using this spot. Keep that in mind. But it's pretty simple to survive up here, I'm not going to lie. I've seen plenty of people survive easily up here. And I did it myself too. And I actually used this spot... You know, maybe once, twice, maybe three times. But like I said, it doesn't feel victorious using this. I will say though, like I said, there will be some angry people that'll keep trying to take you out up here because they literally spawn right by this area if they go in the dark zone checkpoint. So on that note, you could spend a lot of time up here because your time will freeze every time you're in a gunfight on your manhunt or rogue. So after all, this spot could be just a big waste of time for you. Sure, you're getting a lot of kills, you know, you're feeling happy like, yeah, this is fun, I'm making people angry. But you're also wasting a big chunk of your time. You could have already completed your Manhunter Rogue probably 50 times by the time it ends once. I mean, of course, I'm going a little over dramatic there, but still, you guys get the point. There's also a Dark Zone chest up here you can grab too, if you have a key to spare. But... Yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this tactical spot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure most of you have encountered this area, but this is for the people that really haven't encountered this spot. Be warned of this area. It's no joke. Hopefully the tactics I gave you to take out these enemies up here help you out. I mean, that's what helped me during the beta. I'm sure there's going to be some more ways to take out the people that are up here when the full game actually releases. And hey, well, since I'm on this topic right now, if you guys have any tips of taking out the enemies up here from your guys' experiences, well then leave them in the comments below. You never know who you're going to help out for people that are actually wanting to take out the people that just camp up here. Who knows who you might chain react? That is, if you feel like taking the time. But speaking of time, I know I just said I'm about to wrap up the video, but now I'm going to officially wrap up the video. As always, though, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of this. If you could, please remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. My goal is to surpass 250 likes on this video. I know it's a long shot, but hey, why not just give it a shot? The support continues to help my channel rise, and for that, I can't thank you all enough but this has been your rifle and remember to stay safe out there everyone and subscribe for more division content like this i'll be covering a lot more tactical spots that's for sure peace